what I think is interesting about this hobby in general is how people go in cycles and most of the people that were originally collecting have sold most of their stuff mm -hmm. and now there's like another generation of people collecting and I know this because you know every few years is you know a few new collectors that contact me and like what do you have suck lord and they're just trying to buy everything and catch up and then one of you guys is like just kind of selling stuff off and then I don't know you know it's like yeah. it's kind of kind of cyclical how much how much suck lord stuff do you still have I still have a lot I mean I'll I'll show you some um in a minute I don't have like I, at one point I think probably other than you I might have had the most stuff mm -hmm. I had like one of every piece and I had you know a lot of one-offs and gallery stuff and um I just and it was a it was at the point though where I just I couldn't keep up and then I bought a house so I sold a bunch of shit <laughs> <laughs> I still have a lot of it though so it's it's the house that the suckler paid for <laughs> yeah yeah right I mean I, I know more than one example of that actually <laughs> but we I still have... got a 66 I got a suckler 66 up here and I mean, yes. I kept a lot of my favorite pieces, so yeah, I still uh, have a lot. We have another mutual friend who uh, also put a down payment on a house selling his support collection. Nice. So, you know, Good. it's like... I, I'm sure know, that makes Suckwood happy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about uh, this show and the, what you have created because uh, yeah, so getting quite a bit of attention show, here. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. this is actually my friend Chris um, Darth Disco. He was going by that, and uh, he dresses as Drag Trooper. That's so on the back. There's a picture of him. That's actually my suit of Stormtrooper armor. Wow, I have you're very, a suit. Of you're very nice to lend out your Stormtrooper gear. It's it's kind of it's it's raggedy. It's been beat. Um, but he wears the pride parades, and uh, yeah, he's drag trooper. So we decided it'd be funny to make a figure of him, and um, and then the proceeds are going to the Okra Project uh, for yep, black trans uh, homeless teens, and and then uh, the uh, LGBTQ Victory Fund, which helps get uh, open LGBTQ politicians elected, and. Uh, so yeah, we decided just to donate all the proceeds, and yeah, it was fun. Now, sign, now Chris has a figure of himself. <laughs> wow, I think I did. I see Chris on the chat here. How do you feel He's about probably that? Probably not there. Yeah, I think I saw his name. He goes by Dollar Dollar Mills. There he yep. is. Hi. There he is. So, Chris, how do you feel? It was a figure of you. I mean, that not many people get to have figures of themselves. It's pretty dope. He can finally <laughs> truly play with himself. <laughs> <laughs> I am and the lingerie is sexy that he's got on so you know yeah that's amazing uh so it's an addition of 40 uh and they are 60 dollars and there's still some in the store i think we've sold i don't know maybe half of them so far they're doing quite well um cool pretty Good. pretty steady so um tell me how you got into making toys because you were like you said you were a big collector and yeah. Well, I was making stuff back when I was a, a teenager. It was just like customizing one-off figures. So I was kid bashing stuff. But um, I, I collected, you know, Power of the Force, 90s Star Wars. I had a bunch of vintage Star Wars figures too, but I just was like kid bashing and making figures that they hadn't, that Hasbro hadn't put out. Mm -hmm. And so when I was a teenager, I was just making one-offs. I made um, some Spaceballs figures and X-Files figures and just, making stuff really crudely and then had the the idea that I might be a graphic designer um try to work for a toy company that never panned out um can I interrupt but, you for a second because I, I texted you a photo of a toy the other day and I looked at and I asked you the date uh oh was it the State Falls? yeah Ian is saying there's 19 of the drag trooper left so they are oh cool steadily so you can see that photo oh good you actually got it that's right uh-huh uh and i, well, I gave actually, that to morgan right yeah if anyone gives something to morgan he doesn't puts it in the box and sends it to me it's like yeah he's so like what is this i don't want this I, I will actually take care of it because i am the unofficial official archive i guess yeah um, but, but what year was that you 
the 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 thing that was amazing was what the year what year did that did you make that god i think i was like 16 or something and i'm 36 so it was 20 years ago wow wow so you made that you made that in 2000 yeah so That's i was doing good. that shit before suck lord fuck him no, that, <laughs> That's what I was waiting for. That's I made Spaceballs figures before Two Bit Heck. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I wanted to hear. I awesome. need to find my like uh, bar figure. I mean Lone Star. I had I had a few, so I got to dig those up. That's amazing. Well, uh, so tell me how you morphed from like a collector. Obviously, you you were making you know you were customizing stuff twenty years ago, but. Uh, and then I guess you got the bug to just start making stuff yourself. And so how yeah, did that I mean, process? Uh, Suckler definitely inspired that. I, you know, I started collecting his stuff in 2009 and then uh, I can't remember when I made, I'll grab the figure I pretty much first did, but um, I think it was once I started having the site, uh, I hooked up with Derek Loglog, right? So DLL Customs. Yay. Shout out to Derek. Who's He's here in the here chat. Cause I didn't want to get into casting. I don't know. I haven't yet. I haven't gone into mold making. Um, I mean, my thing is painting and conceptualization and maybe some graphic design, but uh, we did this. So like in Toy Lords of Chinatown, there's one of those bootleg bib for tuna figures from like Mexico, right? Right. And I decided like make a yeah, Mexican bootleg of the bootleg. Um, and there's a little, Zapatista, Speedy Gonzalez, it says, like, not for anal <laughs> insertion. <laughs> so I did this figure. I don't remember what year this came out, actually. Like, 2012, maybe? Yeah. It says, two th uh, Ian says 2013. 13? Yeah, that's close. So what did, what did the suck word think? Um, what did Loglog say there? He said 13? Yeah. Thir um, so what did... Uh, what did Morgan think when, what did he like, hey, I made a bootleg figure of a big, you know, your bootleg from the movie. Like, what, what kind uh, of response did you get? He thought it was funny, but like, you know, Morgan just in true, like, suck word fashion was just like, I don't give a shit, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't care. It's funny because uh, he, he, he didn't want to cut, so that's nice. Would, <laughs> it's funny because, it, you know, he would complain to me and he would say, He's like, all these people are collecting my stuff, and and now yeah. then they start making their making their own stuff. Not buying my shit. <laughs> yeah, I still bought his shit for years after that. <laughs> after that. <laughs> paying tribute for many years. Yes, I still pay tribute. <laughs> I bought a figure the other day. So then, after that, what's next after that? Um, I did uh, some like Glios figures. There's like a Glios, mm -hmm. Suck Lord, right. Interplanetary yeah, Bromance, like, Fade In, yeah. I have um, those. Those are amazing. Galactic Jerk Bag, Glios figure. Wait, there we go. Nice. Um, and, and then then you started like the series of music stuff. That's when you started getting exclusives for us to sell. And yeah, that's when yeah, you just start, you, you started this like string of just sell out after sell out after sell out. Um, and I think that if you, I don't know, those Bowie figures, they just, every, every Bowie inspired and every Prince inspired toy you gave us, kept selling. And then even the the dude figure, the, the Force oh, Abides, yeah. like, we didn't even release that. You just kept sending them to me. And uh, do you have any more? Or is this last four you sent me the last batch? I mean, I have, like, maybe a couple of artist proofs, and I think number 40 of 40. Um, I, I only have like three we, left. Th those four that you sent us, we put them on the site. They were gone the first day. Oh like shit! That. Yeah, I looked for them and then I didn't even see them on there. <laughs> yeah, that's because <laughs> boom, they're gone. It's like that is one figure that I just put out on the table at any convention, and yeah. people just look at it. They laugh. They don't care how much it is. They pull out the money. Yeah, I should have made a lot more. Well, like yeah. So here's like the Prince figure, the Ziggy Stardust figure. And then, yeah, the Jedi dude, Force Abides. Um, I have, so the guy that did the artwork for that was the art director at Santa Cruz Skateboards. Mm -hmm. And he, and then George Gaspar, 
uh, did the head, the head sculpt, which is awesome. Nice. Um, and the, the little white Russian accessory. Uh, and then I just kit bashed like a Power of the Forest Anakin. Um, but yeah, the, the guy that did that artwork, he also did, I don't think people really know this, but like the Star Wars decks, like all the Star Wars skate decks from mm -hmm. Santa Cruz. Um, oh, my buddy Lucas, yeah. yeah, did the artwork for that. Nice. So like that, I have a Boba Fett. That's one of the, the prototypes. Um, he gave me one of those. And, uh, but yeah, he, he did a bunch of Marvel and Star Wars decks. Um, and then, yeah, there's some exclusives that I did with you. So there's like the Major Tom, Aladdin Space. That was Comic-Con. And then uh, Karelian Corvette, Prince One. And there was the Purple Rain edition I put out. I do have some Lemmy figures still left in my store. I think that's like all I have in my store other than t-shirts. <laughs> so. uh, Mike Mar says that he's got the Sucklord 66. If you have any figure, that's the one I have. Oh, the Sucklord 66? They're always like 800 to, yeah, to 1500. Can you show a close-up of that figure for the boys and girls at home? It's that one right there. That is the very first Sucklord figure on the left side there. Yeah, you know what's funny? I was at Comic Con that year, and I fucking took a picture of Sucklord and right. didn't know he was selling these like out of his backpack or something, right? Like, God, I wish I had bought one back then. <laughs> oh shit! Sorry, uh, I'll sorry. show a figure that Sucklord made of me. Hold on. So there's my figure. <laughs> Hope you can see that. Oh yeah. Must have been for that one. I think that. I think that Dove, you're the biggest asshole, though. Uh, maybe. Well, maybe the nicest <laughs> asshole. <laughs> There's some more psychedelic stuff. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, with a focus on the early stuff, it's still my favorite era. I mean, I like the yeah. new stuff. I like evolution, where he's gone, but still that original, those original first, like, 24 figures are really, I don't know, they're just yeah. iconic. And, they just and that's what I've, I've kept. Uh, I got all those. Yeah. yeah. Um, Very cool. And then, yeah, I'm actually working on uh, a divine figure. So from Pink Flamingos. Nice. And this is actually 3D printed. Uh, Tyler Ham, Ham FX, he did the, the sculpt. Um, which packaging this with the gun is going to be fun but i think i found a, a resealable blister that'll work yeah it's good so i'm working on that and uh i'm also going to do some tarot card figures i've been wanting to make like a series of figures based on tarot cards mm -hmm. and so i know morgan already used the gandalf burger king figure but i'm gonna kit bash that give him a lantern okay. that's gonna become the hermit Nice. Sculpted a hood on him and then probably use Soromon for the magician and uh, Galadriel. So, anyway, wow. starting when to mess you, with those. When do you expect these to come out? Um, I'm hoping Divine because that uh, the artwork. So, I got to plug the people that I work with, but Michael Reby, he's done like all the artwork for my figures and like the layout for the card backs. Um, mm -hmm. He's doing the artwork for Divine and the divine figures now i've like started the production on them um my buddy's 3d printing them and then i'm painting them right now so those i'm hoping like late summer maybe at the end of august nice. and uh and then the tarot card figures probably like early fall i'm just gonna start with three of them well it sounds like job and another life right well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. This, this, you know, yeah this is the hobby <laughs> are you collecting star wars figures before Oh, yeah. stuff. Were you an, were you an action figure collector? Yeah, I was a pretty hardcore like Power of the Force to '90s Star Wars action figure collector. I mean, I have like probably everything that they put out from '94. I think is when that line released through like 2004 or five. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, I got I, I have a ton of Star Wars stuff. I mean, I sold some of it, but um. You know, it's not really worth that much anymore. So I was, I was collecting Star Wars, yeah, for sure. 
what was it about the Suck Lord that made you start collecting his stuff? Um, I think that he he walked a cool like a, a line that was like social commentary, the political like that. Nah, nah, he has I think you feel like he's done more political stuff maybe over the last like five or six years, but mm -hmm. just that he made his own characters, but you could see like oh this is from you know Star Wars, this is from you know Land of the Lost, or you know there's there's all these little cultural references. I hadn't seen anybody making toy pop art like that. I mean, the first time I ever really found out about Sucklord was through uh, Toy Fair magazine, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they did a they did a spread on um, the, the the vinyl Sucklord figure, right? Like the six sixty, the mm -hmm. six hundred. And I went down to a little like toy collector shop here in Santa Cruz, and they had one, and I, and I wanted to buy it. it. What, was, what was it called? I can't remember what it was called. It's not even, it was only there for maybe a year. I don't know, but they, they had one and it was like 80 bucks or something. I think at the time I'm like, fuck, I don't want to pay 80 bucks for an action figure. Mm -hmm. um, and I, and I should have bought it. That was like, I don't know what year those came out, but that was the first time suck kind of flew on my radar other than seeing him at Comic-Con and like whatever it was, 2004. Um, but yeah, I just, something spoke to me because his stuff isn't like super in your face derivative Star Wars, but it's it's very subversive and I like the social commentary and and it was cool that he made like this universe of like his own characters. He was doing trading cards, right? He's doing t shirts and apparel and then the music, um, with Crystal Pharaoh and I, I just had never seen an artist create, you know, their own world of of pop art merchandise like that. So right. yeah. And as a collector, it was very enticing. <laughs> what was the comment there about the Suckathon? I, I, and just so for your information, the, the Suckathon does not happen anymore because uh, I am not willing to do the work. <laughs> 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 so, um, yeah, if you want to take, uh, take over Suckathon duties, um, I can get you the space. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come down, dude. I'm not that far from LA. I'll come down and help uh, set it up. No, you have to spend like several months planning it beforehand. Oh God! All right. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got to deal with Morgan probably the whole time. So yeah, exactly. Amazing! Wow, that was the best reaction ever. All right, well, let's just talk about your figure one more time here before yeah, yeah. We, before we wrap up. So anyone who's watching here, uh, we got the Empire's Got Back Drag Trooper. Um, there are less than half of these left, 19 at last count, and they are all signed and numbered. They're $60, and all of the proceeds are going to two different uh, nonprofit charities. So, ooh, Dane thinks it's sexy. I think you need one, Dane. <laughs> it's got a real rainbow flag clock cape. Yes. All right, dude. Well, th thank you so much for stopping in and taking the time yeah. and saying yeah, hello. You, I'm glad you're doing this. This is awesome. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, I think. I mean, I'll let you know. Sometimes, like, when I'm actually doing stuff, it's not fun. But then the thought of it later is like, oh, that was so much fun. And then yeah. I do it again, and I'm like, oh, that was so much work. And then after yeah. I'm done, I'm like, hey, that was actually, you know, the thought of, you know. Sometimes it's not like the lead up to it. It's the, the memory you have of it that is, right. you know, when you forget the pain. <laughs> Yeah, and then you forget long enough to end up going back to it and doing it all over again. We're like, shit, why am I doing this? <laughs> <laughs> That's the story of my life. So until the next time that we can do this all over again. <laughs> exactly. All right, dude. Thank you again. It's been great yeah, talking cool. to you. Thank you guys. Thanks. Talk to you soon. See you, Ian. Good to see you guys. Later. Dude. Later.